guys, it's Melanie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make the easiest tote bag ever. I hope you guys enjoy this project, beginner friendly project, and of course I love, love, love to see what you guys make. So tag me on Instagram or Twitter or upload pictures to my Facebook page, Google Plus, wherever you can find me. I love to see what you guys are working on. Also don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss a weekly video and at the end of the video I'm going to give you my tip of the day. So stay tuned for that. Let's get started and I'm going to show you how to make this bag. Okay, so what you need for this project is some, I use denim. You can use a twill, a canvas, linen, cotton blend, anything that has a little bit more body. I did pre-wash and iron mine to make sure that none of the dye rubbed off. You need three yards of this cotton twill tape, mine's about an inch wide, some pins and some coordinating thread that matches your main fabric and your strap fabric. My fabric was 20 inches wide by 32 long. So what we're going to do first is hem our top edge, fold it over about a half an inch, wrong side facing up, so your right side is facing down, and then you're going to iron three quarters of an inch down using lots of steam. There's my three quarters of an inch right there. And you can see here's my right side of the fabric and here's my wrong side. You're going to pin that all in place and then we here's both sides pinned and we're going to take that over to the sewing machine. So here we are at the sewing machine. Just use your presser foot and sew with a straight stitch all the way down, you want to be using a coordinating thread. I'm using a black, I think, on here. A polyester is good for this project. It's a little bit stronger than cotton. All the way down, do this on both sides. And then I went ahead and top stitched on the outside just to give a little bit more of a finished look. It's so dark, you don't really see it too much. Um, but if you have a nice uh, pattern or something like that, this will be a nice touch. Here is that top stitch right here. So now that we have our top edges done, you can see I have my right side facing out. Here is halfway down my bag. I put a little pin there just so I would know where it was. And we are going to set our straps in place. I folded my strap in half and I put a pin just so I would know where it was. Because I have the strap going all the way down the bag, this is important to keep track of where that center point is. So you can see that pin there on the bottom is going to line up with the bottom part of the bag. Then we are going to just lay it out flat, make sure there aren't any big ridges, nothing is twisted, and get this all lined up. You can see how I'm doing the back side as well. And then what you want to do is measure 5 inches from the side of your bag. Make sure everything is lined up really well, 5 inches from the side, and then you're going to pin it all in place. Make sure that the straps aren't twisted. Make sure everything is lined up going all the way down. Um, you know, make sure it's five inches on the top and five inches on the bottom as well. Pin this in place really well so that you don't have any ripples, any problems when you're gonna be sewing the straps down. So now that everything is lined up and pinned, I just wanted to open up the bag and make sure everything looked okay. That raw edge, I wanted to make sure was gonna match up properly, so I wanted to take a look at that. And then we're gonna basically stitch one side at a time, starting at the center of the bag so that those back stitches are on the bottom side of the bag. We don't see any of those. We're gonna start going up to the top of the bag, pivot, and then start stitching back down. You'll be able to see all of those details right here. When you get started, make sure you are back stitching, and then you're going to continue moving up the bag using your presser foot as a guide. My side of the strap is about halfway underneath that right little foot on my presser foot, just about an eighth of an inch from the side. Anything is good. You just want to make sure that it's nice and secure, and you also want to switch out your thread so that it is matching your strap color, whatever you've chosen. 
when you get to the top, pivot around, make sure everything is nice and secure, and then you're gonna go head back down the strap all the way to the other top of the bag. Just being going slow, making sure there's no ripples, no bubbles, Pin, take your pins out as you go, and uh, yeah, sew the straps down. Once that's complete and you've done both sides of your straps, there's the underside of my bag, just to give you an idea of what it's looking like. You're gonna be placing your bag right sides together. Line up your straps, make sure that's all lined up, and we are gonna pin our edges to sew together. Pin it really well, and then when you take it over to the sewing machine, you're gonna back stitch really well, and using a 5 8 seam allowance, you're going to stitch using that dark thread again for me, or whatever your coordinating thread is for your bag color. Switch back to that, and sew down at 5 8 of a seam allowance going down the sides of your bag, both sides. Now the next thing you want to do is finish your seam. You can do this by using pinking shears, a zigzag stitch on your machine, or I used a serger. Whatever you want to do so that it's a nice finished seam. Now I'm going to box out the bottom of the bag just ever so slightly. So you want to take some chalk and make a mark on the bottom side of the bag. Then line up your side seam with that bottom chalk mark. Measure one inch down from the corner and make a mark. And then you're going to move your ruler to the side and you're going to make a two inch line going from side to side. If you've made my box pouch bag, you've done this before. So make a mark there and then you're going to take it over to your sewing machine and using back stitches, make a stitch right along that chalk line. Right there. So here is my stitch. Then you're going to take some scissors and just give yourself a good trim. You can use some fray check or send that through the zigzag on the machine, whatever you like, and finish it up. Now I'm gonna also use some fray check in order to make sure that that raw edge on my twill tape doesn't fray. And there you have it, your bag is complete. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me any questions in the comment section below. All of the instructions will be written out in the description box under the video. If you're on a desktop machine, it will say show more. Click on show more and that will open up. If you're on a mobile device, to the right hand side of the title of the video, there'll be this tiny little gray arrow shape. Click on that and the description box will open. All the details will be there. My tip for today is when you are attaching your straps, be sure to use lots of pins. I'm a fairly confident sewer, so I didn't use tons and tons of pins, but if you're new, the more pins the better. It can't hurt you at all. My favorite pins are the Clover glass head pins. They're a little bit more expensive because they have the glass head, and the glass head is cool because you don't necessarily need it for this project, but for future projects, you can iron over those pins because they're glass and they won't melt like the plastic ones. So I like to have those in my sewing supplies. So that is my tip for today. Using glass head clover pins or, or I'm sure other companies make it too, um, but those are really handy to have and pin, 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 especially for these straps. I hope you enjoyed watching this easiest tote bag ever video. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Bye.